welcome back. So today I'm doing my review of the Farseer Trilogy. And for this, because I like treats with my books, I made a kind of a no-bake, kind of a no-bake cheese cake. And it's got a lot of berries and stuff in it. So, so it's delicious. All right. So the Farseer Trilogy is a trilogy by Robin Hobb. It includes Assassin's Apprentice. Royal Assassin and Assassin's Quest. So, so this series is about Fitz, who is the bastard son of Prince Chivalry, and he is Chival Chivalry's only son, and it obviously means that he cheated on his wife, so he wasn't really very chivalrous. So he's dropped off at the castle when he's like five. And his family says, like, hey, we don't want him anymore. Uh, Mom can't take care of him, so he's your kid. You take care of him. And he, they kind of, like, don't know what to do with him. But they decide that since he is technically royalty, they're going to train him to be the assassin to the crown. And even though he is an assassin, he does have to poison people and kill people, and he's trained as being an assassin. This is not one of those books that... That's like all that happens. Or, you know, like the assassins in this series, I would say that, you know, a lot of times they seem like they're overpowered. They just go in and they kill people and nobody knows. And uh, I don't necessarily think that's the case because too many horrible things happen to them. It's really about Fitz and him trying to survive and be, try to become a better person, try to have his own life. Uh, he's a very conflicted person and has been through a lot and ends up going through a lot in the series. Sometimes he's very he's very naive and sometimes he's very unsure of himself and I think that people can relate to that. That yes we all have times in our life where we're unsure, we have times in our life where we're a little naive about things. I think the best part of this series was the character work. I felt Fitz was a really well-developed character. He had a lot of layers, a lot of things that he cared about, a lot of things in his life that he's juggling which definitely understand that because because in life a lot of times we have a lot of things going on and we're always struggling a lot of things and ultimately he's trying to be the best person that he can be despite everything that's happening to him so like i said i, I didn't feel like the assassins were terribly overpowered in this although they do end up getting away with quite a bit without getting caught that's kind of the point of being an assassin uh, but once somebody finds out what you are then you kind of it makes it you a target I don't say that he really wants to be an assassin, but he doesn't really have a choice. And it's how he kind of deals with that situation being thrown at him. So because of who he is, he either earns the respect or hatred of the other characters. And, you know, for somebody that's supposedly not important, he ends up getting a lot of things. He also gets a lot of things taken away from him because people are jealous of him, because people, because certain characters don't like him, because they're jealous of him and they're out to destroy him because they believe he's out to destroy them. When he just, in some ways, he just wants to have his own life and be his own person. So those are the things that I thought were strong about it. I, I really enjoyed the series. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to reading Life Ship Traders and see how that all ties into this. Uh, some of the weaknesses I found is that, so these horrible things happen to him and sometimes he gets over them really quickly and they don't seem to bother him anymore he heals up and he's fine and other things like hang around but there are some things that just it just seems like well you know could have hung on to that a little bit more and obviously sometimes that's just out of necessity that he has to get better be, to move the story forward and to go to the next part and the other thing is that he seems to be invincible he gets out of so many situations and so many scrapes and obviously he's the main character so he's supposed to survive but he just Sometimes it seems like he just, no matter what, he can't die. So the magic system was uh, pretty interesting. It was pretty cool. Like It was a form of telepathy. So the people can contact each other or talk to each other through this telepathy. They can also attack each other and hurt each other and bond with each other. And then the other side of it is people who can bond with animals. And Fitz just happens to have both of these magical abilities. So anyway, so that's my review of the Farseer Trilogy said I, I really enjoyed it. Um, I'm looking forward to the, the live ship traders. 
I think Robin Hobb is definitely a great fantasy writer. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I put new videos out Tuesdays and Thursdays. And have a nice day.